Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is episode 2. Let's set up C++ on Windows and hope I can breathe my way through this. Um, yeah, that's not Visual Studio Code on my screen, is it? Oh dear, what happened, Blades? Um, Visual Studio Code uh, had a download and <laughs> broke everything. <laughs> It no longer works, so I've put that to one side, and all you need to download now and set up is Visual Studio 2019. Um, let's see if I've got the setup here. Well, you just tick C++, uh, that's the only bit you need, and uh, it gives you Visual Studio 2019 with C++. Lovely. That's better. That's easy enough easy enough. Create a new project. Let's not do that for a second. Let me make sure that I've actually got somewhere to put it. And I haven't. So, let's just do this. I'm, I'm going to use git. Um, I have git downloaded, so we'll do that. Uh, let's see if I've still got it here. Here we go. Uh, programming. Yeah, that that'd be fine. We'll have that one. There we go. Hold on. There's programming. That's good news. So now I can create a project. Create a new project. Our uh, console, please. Oh, what should we call it? Project name. Let's call it C++. There we go. Um, source, repos, location, yep, yep, yep. Right, solution name will be C++. That means I want it in programs. Please? Aha! I see what it's done. It's done the wrong thing totally. Oh, that's clever. Uh, we're on the wrong hard drive. Here we go. There we go, I've got my uh, git. So, D repros programming, lovely. C++ solution. That looks good to me. Let's create. Got to be very careful at the beginning of these things because uh, they can go very, very wrong very, very rapidly. So, let's see, does this fit on the window nicely or not? It does, it fits, yay, hello world. And that's it, that's how you set up C++. Nothing else to it really, I'll look at that for you though. Um, what are we under, Visual Studio aren't we? Make sure that everybody's on the same page here. If you are using Visual Studio, it's the installer, isn't it? Yes please. All right, so let's just go for modify. Oh, lovely, thank you. The only thing that I ticked was, you know, no, not that one, this one here. That's the only one I've ticked. Um, anything else that I've added, I've added afterwards. So don't look at those bits, just tick that one and you'll get the right thing. Anything else I'm using? Just let's have a look at the extensions. I've got VS tool, well, QT tools because I use QT sometimes. Uh, GLS, GLSL language integration. Live shares given to me. QT I always have. Uh, Google test, not really caring about. Test adapter for boost test, not bothered about that. 
and Microsoft Visual Studio Test Platform. Well, there you go, all about testing. So that's what I had. Everything there was done for me except for those two, GLSL and QT. Those I added myself. And uh, this is what you get. Loads of stuff to remove. And if we make sure that we are in times 64, we debug this and where's it going to put it? Somewhere stupid? Probably. <laughs> Properties. Um, times 64, where are we? Debug. Yeah, right. So I will do all configurations. And solution, what is all of this? I will do configuration. Don't need a solution directory. Well, we can take the platform out, can't we? I know what we can do. I'll do my old, uh, my old favourite. I will do uh, dot slash. No, don't even need that, do I? Uh, yeah, I'll do dot slash exec slash. Sounds good. And on this one, I will have uh, dot slash <coughs> exe, yeah, and that's just going to be intermediate. And slash, there we go. Let's try that. As for everything else, it can stay where it is. Um, show all files, please. Yes, we have a lot of them. Let's do that. There we go. Hello world comes up. Da da. Hello world. Woo. More importantly, we now have exec with an intermediate directory in it. And there's our exec exe file for Windows. Beautiful. That worked nicely. All configured. There you go. That's it. That's all we had to do. All right. What do you want to do for the rest of this uh, episode? <laughs> um, nothing. That was it. That's all we need to do. That's all set up now. And in the next episode, we will... Um, hold on a minute there, Blaze. Let's start talking about it now. So, grab your coffee. Um, how I'm going to go forward with this uh, series. It's an exploration series. We are going to explore C++ through Windows. Um, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. And I'm on the master branch. Okay. Whoops. Mm. I better do my initial commits. I'll do that after. Er, yeah, we're going forward. We are... I'm going to look at this in a more modular kind of way. Um, I'll probably start with simpler stuff. Um, we'll build it up over time and we'll probably have to add a library um, just to store all of the functionality um, might do that don't know don't know yet don't know uh, things that I am interested in using are obviously OpenGL and stuff like that that's always on the cards with me um, so we will head out that way at some point especially for the main window and everything. It's a lot easier to use OpenGL than it is anything else on, on Windows. It's I mean, that is silly, but true. 
I mean, Windows does have um, the .NET framework and other things uh, which are okay, I suppose. Qt does it better. Um, I mean, I, I, if you want that kind of thing, use Qt. Don't use this. Um, it's, I don't see the point. Qt has a lot better uh, widgets framework for putting buttons on the screen and things like that. Uh, on this one, I will be using something called I'm GUI, and it's literally called I'm GUI, I M G U I. Um, for textures, we'll be using a texture um, download. Uh, GLFW, glue, normal ones that I use. Uh, we could use other things, don't have to. We could use SDL if you want. SDL2 it would be now. Uh, I will be using SDL2 for, uh, let's see, networks. So that's going to come up pretty soon because I'll, I'll do a little bit of an intro and then we'll do some network stuff, I think. Because I'm quite interested in exploring that. That That's a, a good area to explore. Because as you know, the, the code I do will run on anything. So if you're on Linux or Mac, follow the code as normal. And uh, I shouldn't... Hopefully I won't step beyond the boundaries um, and into Windows. If I do, shout at me. Shout at me big time. Say, no, that doesn't work on other platforms. It should do. Whatever I do should work. So that's the way forwards. Um, I'll do a little bit of an intro test, uh, setting up the system here. I will probably use this view more than I will use that view, because I don't know why I want to know all of this. But it could be could be useful. I don't know. Um. So yeah, I prefer that. That tells me what I've got actually on the hard drive and in my solution, so I'll probably use that. Uh, source code, source directory. Yeah, we could add that, couldn't we? So right click, add new folder, uh, call new folder S O U R C E. Um, and we'll start with um, an area that I usually just gloss over. For our practice piece, we'll do a string manipulation. So add a folder, and we'll call it uh, strings. Yeah. Because we can't call it string, can we? No, we've got to call it strings. Okay. So that's 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 the module that I'll be working on first of all. There won't be a lot in it to start off with, but it'll be there. Then there'll be a talk about maths. <coughs> That'll scare the 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 muppets out of you. Um, that'll be fun. Um, we'll see where it goes with networking and stuff like that as well. So there's strings. Um. Maths, maths, maths. Plural again. Has to be plural, otherwise we're going to clash on our names. Just call it maths. Um, let's have another folder. Uh, we'll call networking. We'll just networks. Plural again. So we don't conflict with any of the standard libraries. Uh, I think we should be all right with that. Um, are we going to give ourselves a name, a namespace? I'll think on that. Uh, I'll sort of put a note in here. Um, namespace. And we might add one of those as well. There we go. That's it. That's the end of this uh, informational broadcast. Not a lot to it, I know. It's just a short episode just to get you set up. And that's where we're going to start from. Hello world. And we'll change that. Uh, from 
plus E plus plus. There we go. Lovely. So it's now ours, not theirs. Okay, all done. I'll go and store this and we get the next episode up and sorted. And in the meantime, everybody out there, take care and uh, have fun. <laughs>